All right, so you know that famous line from The Godfather? I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. No, not that one. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. <laughs> we finished recently Talk With Strangers, which is all about me going door to door as a salesman, dealing with the weirdest individuals of all time. I thought I had left that life behind. But apparently I have now stumbled upon Knock Knock, Traveling Soulsman. Now, before we start, this is a free game. I'll have a link for you down below because you want to check it out for yourselves. I definitely encourage you to do so. The art looked very good on this one for a fact. What we're doing here is a little bit different. We are here to try to sell a product, an idea, to a person in exchange for their soul. Can we do it? Let's find out. Okay, that was a very angry Baphomet. In my office, now! Yeah, it's pretty bad when um your boss is Baphomet and he's pissed off at you. I've been manager of the soul department for eons and you're the worst employee I've ever seen. You're so lame, you're behind Rodrigue. And he's a rock for Antichrist's sake. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Best sales, Baba, Nicholas Gage, Celine Dion. Oh, I wanted to read all those. Baba was number one, though. Baba is you. Baba is soul sales. You have to collect at least five souls if you don't want to be sacked, inquire, earn their trust, and sell the correct wish in exchange for their immortal soul. All right. So, at least five, right? I could hopefully do this. Let's see. Um, let's ring this doorbell. Can we knock on the door? Can we just open a door? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, oh God, I broke a pod. Oh, oh, hi, little kid. Oh God, I'm going to take the soul of a child. Good morning, Croak. I love to smash things too. Oh, good. Well, I guess we we meet eye to eye on that one. Figurative, but not literally, because you're you're fairly short. Yo, what's up, dude? Do you want something neat? All I want in exchange is your soul. Hey, Gittle, sorry to disturb you. Is one of your parents here? I'm a demon in a secret mission to collect their soul. Here, little kid, take my card. I here to collect your soul. I don't see any reason to lose any time here. See you at Judgment Day. No, no, no. We gotta collect this soul, even if it's a child. Um, are you kid? Are you maybe you gotta talk to his parents though? Demons are supposed to be scary, and you're not scary at all, Mister. So I think you're lying. And lying is bad. Oh, you don't talk to me about morals. You're right. I'm happy because I'm a cook, but I like to I like for the world to see my talent. You're a cook. So what we're trying to do is deduce from just by talking to anybody what it is that they kind of their their personality is about, right? So he mentioned he was a cook. He wants to show his talents off to the world. All right, little buddy, do you want to give me your soul in exchange? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yay! I know I have a real talent to cook, and now I can share my gift to the world. Oh, look at that. I have uh, played the life of a child. I'm a terrible person. Well, I'm a demon, so you know what? It's par for the course here. Hurry up, open the door. That was weak. You should have killed that doorbell with your fist. That's what winners do. All right. There's that uh, money popping out of your pocket there, my dude. Good morning, sir. I'm a demon from hell, and I'm here to make all your wishes come true. Here's my card. I'm sorry, I'm a demon. And I'd like to buy your soul. Hmm. Well, based on what he said, I don't think that's probably a good choice. How about we go with this one? We have some caps, and you know what caps means, right? It means you're yelling. That's better. Still don't like how weak you were with that doorbell. Did you care for it? Taking care of things is poor people reflexes. Wow. I think this guy must be loaded. What do you do for fun? Are you truly happy? How's your family? I don't see why I bother, but... Wouldn't you want more money? Well, if you like money, wouldn't you want some more? Oh, you like that. <laughs> oh, you happy with that, huh? Yeah, stupid of me to ask. Well, sorry, but I didn't try to be funny. But unlike some, I have some mandatory questions. Let's laugh ourselves. Very good, little demon. As if someone could have enough money. Wait until I tell the boys. So does that mean you would want more money? What's the deal with all these uh, Valentine chocolate things behind you? Maybe family? Wealthy, of course. Always have, always will be. Oh, your family's wealthy as well? Maybe you lack their love. Do you have a wife? Oh. Oh, maybe all the chocolates back there. Yes, but she's about to finish college. I guess it's about time I change. 
What? My dude's a playboy. I think I've got what you need, and it'll only cost you a soul. I don't think I know what he needs. He wants to change a girlfriend soon. So what if we find him a permanent one? Let's go with love. If she could be half my age, it would be even better. Wow. <laughs> this guy likes them young, huh? Well, he's rich, so he could definitely pull it off. I mean, who am I to judge him? You got all that money in the world? Well, <laughs> the world's your oyster. All right, we've gotten two souls already. That's very good. Who's here? Can I mess around with that? Ah, huh. Are you a child or an old person? What are you doing here? If you want something, you should use the doorbell, sweetie. You almost scared me. I, I guess you're an old lady. Hello, ma'am. I'm here to grant you your darkest wish, as demons do. I'm sorry to disturb you. I was trying to get your attention, but I'm not familiar with all this electronic stuff. Well, she's old. Maybe she likes that. It's just a doorbell, sweetie. But I know what you mean. Ah, she did. One of these days, all the technology they are making is going to turn me nuts. Ah, uh -huh, okay. So, she doesn't like technology. Do you have a big family? Are you still working? How do you occupy your days? Are you wealthy enough? How do you feel these days? Do you have a big family? How sweet of you to ask! I have 13 daughters and 9 sons, and approximately 80 grandchildren and almost 220... Good God Almighty! You guys were busy in your family, huh? And of course, my doggy. <laughs> That's a lot. Thank you, sweetie. I put a lot of work into it. I bet you did. Now they're like an army, ready to obey my or ready to obey my orders. Is that what you were doing? You were you were birthing just so you have an army? You got a cockatiel in your head too. That's freaking adorable. I have cockatiels too. Uh, do you have a big family? Are you still working? How do you occupy your days? Are you wealthy enough? How do you feel these days? Um, how do you occupy your days? I don't know actually, but it's nice of you to ask. I... You don't know? I think I spend too much time daydreaming. Like how the world would be a better place if I was ruling it with an iron will. That sort of thing. Didn't we have one for global domination? I think that's probably her thing. Alright, we just gotta find a way to trigger that and I think we might have her already. Um... How do you feel these days? That's a tricky question. A little lonely, I guess. What if I were to give you your husband back? I guess everybody you knew has passed away now. That's super sad. It is super sad. Save your pity for a puppy, dear. Here we go. Okay. It's got to be the world domination, right? That's... I mean, she mentioned loneliness, but what would... Find love? No, there's nothing here. I mean, find love, but apparently her husband's already dead. Let's go with world domination. At last, behold, world, it is time to witness the dawn of a new age. Yeah. No more poverty, no more privilege, just billions of slaves to my will. Also, apple pie is forever. Well, I mean, if you include apple pies, then, you know, it's probably not the worst oppressive ruler in the world. I mean, apple pies are involved. All right, open this door. Hi. Sorry. What the hell do you want? It is time to sell your eternal soul in exchange for your deepest wishes. Here's my card coming straight from hell. I'm sorry for the disturbance, but I'd like to make a deal in exchange for your soul. Um... Here's my card coming straight from hell. Hello. Nice card. How does it work? Do you have trees in hell or do you import? Oh, 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 we're funny. We're a comedian now, are we? Is life good with you? Money could be an issue. How's your family? What do you do for a living? Do you have a hobby? I know you're saying that because of my style, and I'll let you know I have a good and satisfying job. But cash is always welcome for... personal reasons. Such as what? Well, it's always for personal reason. People always... People almost never give money to other if they don't have a personal interest to do so. That's true. Hello. Yeah, dude. Humans are magnificent creatures in a hellish point of view. But I don't like money. I like cash. There's a difference. Is there, though? Is there really? Um... Do you have a hobby? Seriously? Uh, it's, just an, it's just a question. Is life good with you? Dude, what kind of question is that? It's like asking if water is wet. What is good or bad? Isn't life a perspective? I mean, are you truly satisfied? I have the power to grant all wish, so why not tell me what makes you really happy? Dang, man. I don't want to sound cheesy, but some peace for people would be nice. Nice and metal. Okay, we'll go with world peace. 
peace. Yeah, I like that. Even if it's for a week. Then my gang and I are gonna shake things up. <laughs> you want there to be peace so you can take over? What is it that everybody wants to take over in this game? All right, we got four souls, right? Okay, we just need one more. So far, we're batting a four for four here, boys. Not so loud. Sorry, apparently I have awoken you. Good morning, ma'am. I'm, I'm a brave traveling soulsman, and I, as you can guess, I'm here to buy your soul. Here, take my card. Sorry, did I wake you? I'm here to help you make a deal with the devil. <laughs> uh, take my card. What? Okay. Right. Um. <laughs> uh, are you feeling well? You seem a little tired. You actually do. Maybe a big pile of cash could help make your problems disappear. Come on, what do you do in your free time? How's work? How's your family? What do you do in your free time? Free. Time? I forgot those words could be... Together. Oh. So you're overworked, are you? Is that Jimi Hendrix in the background? Like, what do you say about running? It would pump you up? What about playing an instrument? I mean, if there's something you would do for fun, I'd exchange for your soul, of course. Huh? Huh? For fun? I do nothing. It would be paradise. I'm so tired. Okay. I think I, I'm, I'm understanding that we've got to look for something to relieve her stress, maybe? Her tiredness? Uh... Are you feeling well? You seem a little tired. Oh, uh, no, I, I... I know you are, but why is that upsetting you? Don't just ellipsis me. Hey, hey, hey. It was a joke? Sorry, I realized I just said something painfully obvious. What, did I say something wrong? Painfully obvious? Okay. Apology accepted. I'm so tired I could make a song about it. I only... I knew how to write a song. Oh! You might want to be a musician. Oh, the Jimi Hendrix thing in the background. Okay, hey, can we trigger this thing already? Because I think we, we got it here. Are you feeling well? Um, how's your family, maybe? Huh? Do you have kids? Do you live alone? Are you good in terms with your family? You live alone, maybe? Look, just trigger the thing. I think we got this one. There it is. Okay, so I think you got to like go through at least three conversations, and then it'll give you the option. So, famous musician. Oh, we also have Go On Holiday. She's also very tired, huh? Maybe there's more than one option. Well, I'm gonna go with um, Famous Musician for a fact. But I don't think um, the Holidays one would be bad, too. Oh, that worked! Yay. Seems good to me. Alright, we got five souls, boys. We are done! So do we have any more dudes, or...? No. Best sales? Where am I at? Dave Hill with a smiley face. No, why am I still last? Dave Hill should be number one. Better than Baba. Thank you for playing. That's it. Well, it's a free game. Definitely check it out for yourselves and see if there's different options you can kind of take out over there and see if there's different endings. But um, pretty cool. I, I really honestly would like this to be turned into a game as well. I know we played Talk to Strangers, which is, you know, in that similar vein. And you know what? I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm actually really enjoying these door-to-door -door simulator games quite a bit. But um, this in particular has a really, really good premise, especially if you're dealing with souls. Could be very neat to see in a, as a full-blown game. So hey, check out the game for yourselves. Free download, and maybe the developer might want to do more with it down the line. I will catch you next time.